Okay, hello everyone. This is the Alley Man. I'm going to show you how to make a basic tire in Z Modeler 2. I'm going to be using a uh, spline to create my tire. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to cre create, spline, and strip. If you check this box right next to it, you'll see this uh, has an options here. I just leave it as is. I don't change that. And you want to go to your front view window hide your uh, pivot helper for right now you go to display pivot helper and then uncheck the visible you want to set it right in the middle of this one little grid one little box right here uh, and you click left click once and you move it up try to make it as straight as possible as you can left click again and then go to your left and go about halfway left click again come down at an angle left click again then straight down once more go back to your right left click and then straight down left click again and then go back to where you started and once you left click on this you get this pop-up box that says spline creation mode and you want to leave it at its default stop creation start new spline you hit OK and now you have your uh, spline created here next you want to go create surface revolved click the little box right next to it and set all the settings that you see here leave them at their default which is X revolve axes is X sharp corners check cap start check cap in check mesh sections you want to leave that at 16 and then you just come over here to the front view window highlight your spline and then left click once and you see the tire formation right here let me take this off if you go to show you in the perspective view window what it looks like like so If you come up here to your left view window, you'll notice that uh, that it looks a little bit thick on the outside portion of this wheel. If you see that when you make your spline, that means that it's not level and it's off. The front end is either up or down as opposed to the back end of this. And you want to make sure that they're level when you uh, if you want to complete this tire. So like for this one right here instead of having to adjust it each uh, section I'll just create a new one until I can get it nice and neat all the way around so I'm gonna go ahead and delete that go to objects list left click right click I mean edit and delete the same thing for the surface delete create spline stripe let me zoom in just a little bit to where I can just get this one grid right here try to get it as the center as you can left click move it up and you can tell that it's pretty much straight because it's not as thick if you go like this you can see the thickness just bring it over until it's one thin little line left click go to your left left click again come down at an angle straight down to your right straight down left click always and then back where you began, began get the same spline creation mode you want to stop creation start new spline say OK and you want to create surface revolve leave those at the settings that you see here come over to your front view window highlight your spline and then left click once and as you can tell I still got the same problem again and I don't want that so let's delete that once more till we get a real good sphere I'm gonna take off the X axis go to spline strip do it once more left click move up left click move over to your left about halfway left click 
come down at angle, left click, straight down, left click, come in, left click, go down, and back to where you started. Say OK. Now you want surface, create, surface, revolve, leave those at its settings, highlight your spline in the front view window, left click once. There we go. See how it's not as thick around on the, on the corners, around the, the edges. So we're going to stick with that. Take this off. Because I don't need that anymore. You want to go to your objects list and right click, highlight your spline, right click and edit and delete. I don't need the uh, spline anymore. Alright. So you can tell right here in the perspective window that the tire looks pretty decent. Although the back end of it will take get, uh, get rid of that later on. The good thing about using a spline is that all these, like this front section of this tire, all of these are separated. They're detached even though it's one object. They're all detached. If you was to use uh, one of these pre-made objects right up here like a cylinder or a tube you would have to uh, detach each of the faces and you would have to go one by one which takes a little bit longer this way it's already done for you all you'd have to do is adjust the rim as to how big you want it or how small you want it uh, for those that want to make their own like spokes and stuff like that you'd want to do this and then just choose the center portion as how big you want it and then use that as a template for however many spokes you're going to put on your wheel and then just bring it back in and the way you do that let me go to vertex mode which is this box right here highlight your object left click once and you see all these vertices right here you want to go to select quadra you want to do uh, right click and hold, drag, and then highlight, you see a little box outline, you highlight that one particular set of vertices, let go, selected mode on, if I turn this you'll see that those are selected. Like so. And then you can move that, you can move that out, the center portion of it, move, modify, move, x-axis for left and right if you go up to the front view window you can move it like this you see that let's undo that right there if you want to just get the whole section the whole middle part of it you'd want to go first deselect it hold control button and right click and drag and highlight your uh, vertices and it deselects it go to faces which is this box right here then you want to go select separated and you just highlight one of these polygons and you right click selected mode is on and you want to go back to vertex mode and you can see all the vertices on this one right here all these green ones green lines showing you that those are selected then you can use move and I'm still in X uh, axis mode and go to the front view window and you can move that out see here it is right here and you can use this right here as a template as to how many spokes you want to get and how, you know, what the uh, circumference is and all that good stuff. And then you just place that back in. Just as you did, took, took it out, you can place it back in. Okay, that's about all the time I have right now. In the next video, I'll show you how to texture this. It's just real easy. So, um, thank you very much. And uh, good luck.